Back to School in Brockport this year brings the return of a popular program at the high school. It gives incoming freshmen a chance to explore their new surroundings before the school year begins. It's a welcome that didn't happen last year. Welcome to ninth grade. Freshman orientation back on at Brockport High School. We're back full time in person. Um, and our, our athletics and clubs are, are full time, so it's an exciting year. The new class graded by student leaders in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. It's called the FLEC program, focus, learn, engage, and connect. I think students need to feel like they are part of the, a building, a culture. I think a transition program is necessary so that students know that they are part of something that's magical. On orientation day, freshmen learn the ins and outs of high school life. And you'll just sign in over there. It includes a tour from fellow students. I'm really glad the freshmen get to come back to five days a week. And it just makes me happy that I haven't had like a normal year of school at all in high school. So it'd just be good to get a full year of five days a week, hopefully. I feel like the social connection is already lacking because we're, we haven't been in school so much. So as much as we can connect to them, even if we only help one person connect to one person, that, that's our job. The class of 2025 at Brockport High is about 260 students. Their interactions with upperclassmen don't end on this day. They teach lessons every Monday. We have a curriculum, so they are in front of their students learning how to public speak, learning how to connect. If they need tutoring, they help them with tutoring. For staff and students, the return to the classroom full time is exciting. So I'm hopeful to kind of bring back like the the extra part of high school, I guess, like the fun stuff and like the socializing. This feels right. It feels necessary. And kids need to know that school is a place that they can learn and be connected to and grow. And classes start tomorrow in Brockport. COVID safety measures are in place there, including universal masking and a daily health assessment that students complete online. Well, the new school year is getting an early start for some students here in our area. Yeah, that means we should remind people you're going to see some school buses out right. there today as yeah. well on the roads. Be careful. Uh, Penfield Schools, one of the districts opening today. Sam Carter is live there this morning outside of the high school. And Sam, this is always an exciting time of year, but I think especially this year for so many students who are excited to be back full-time in the classroom. Yeah, absolutely, Matt, absolutely. The school buses have not started arriving yet, but pretty soon things are going to get busy here at, at Penfield High School because it is day one for the Penfield School District. And many of the parents and students I spoke with today and yesterday say that while they're hopeful for a good year, they're excited to get back. Now, at 7.30 this morning, the first bell is going to ring, and that means every student in the Penfield School District will be back in class. That is the first time in a year, and that's a plan the Penfield School District says they're committed to. In order to, keep, to best keep their students safe, the district will be having strict sanitizing regimes, and students will also maintain three feet of social distancing. Now, that's unless they're eating, in which case it's six feet. But... The biggest thing in Penfield this year, as it is with everywhere in the state, students will be required to wear masks. And that's not just students, anybody entering a Penfield district building. And while you have to mask up, some of the students and parents I spoke with say, well, it's not ideal. After almost a full year on a hybrid learning model, they'll do whatever it takes to get back. Even with the risks involved, like sending them back to school, having them in activities, having them talking and around each other, being taught in a you know person to person environment. Developmentally, that's the best thing we could ask for. And now that everyone's back, you get to see everyone. And also, you get more learning, I would say, because all online, you just really do the thing. You don't really learn it, you just kind of do it. And then you go home, and then you really have nothing to do for the rest of the day. So, a new school year in here in Penfield begins, but Matt, I want to ask you one question, Chris, next hour I got one for you, but Matt, I want to ask you one question that I've always wondered about, and I know the people of Greater Rochester okay. have wondered about. Did you ever, in high school, have frosted tips? I never had frosted tips, but I will admit that you in, are in, lying. No, I never had, <laughs> not in high school, college, actually. But, but I did have, when it was cool, in like elementary, middle school, I had the lightning bolt 
oh, shaved, shaved into the in. side of my head. And at oh. one point, my initials as well. You should bring that back. <laughs> it's not actually my nephew has it now, so it's it's, it's making a return. Back around. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sam. Uh, Sun in also as well was like a big fad when I was. Yes. Everyone knows the Sun in. All right. We turn now to Ontario, where Wayne Central Schools also opening today. Alexis Arnold there for us this morning. Hey, Alexis. Guys, I got to get in on this conversation. Wait a minute, Matt. You had a lightning bolt. Did you also have a uh, tail? I did, uh, no, I did. Yeah, in the back I had of your the, head too. It was first of all, it was called a rat tail, and yes, I did. In an ele it was cool in elementary school, all right. No, it really wasn't. Yeah. Listen, at least yeah. I thought yeah, it was. Like we are dating ourselves. <laughs> I know, right? We are dating ourselves. I'm an 80s these, child. These I can't styles. help it. I will say. I will say in the 90s, when I was going to school, at least first grade, MC Hammer was big. So we were obsessed with those balloon pants, those baggy pants and the slap bracelets and the patent leather shoes. Oh, yeah, that was the style. Everybody wanted that. <laughs> All is quiet at Wayne Central. We're outside the high school. We're going to be heading down to the middle school uh, in uh, just a few minutes here. But all is quiet right now. Uh, it's starting to uh, begin get a little lighter out. But uh, that's going to change in the next uh, hour or so when students start to arrive. Um, of course, you've got the backpack. You're going to have the mask a lot, in addition to all your school supplies. And they're going to bring out the red carpet here with balloons. You can see the setup just inside inside the lobby, inside these doors here. It's about to get live, and you're going to see the hustle and bustle. And, of course, we'll bring all that to you. The big focus uh, here that we've talked to staff about is meeting the social, emotional needs of the students. Let's, no surprise, it's been a weird, bizarre past year and a half with the pandemic that we are still in. And they are trying to do everything they can to make students feel at ease because they are back in the classroom, some for the first time in over a year, in person in class five days a week and there's some changes that come along with that some anxiety so the big focus is making sure that students feel welcome they are excited about learning in this this different atmosphere and they feel at home and feel at ease and, and certainly uh, easing the anxiety and maybe some fears and concerns of parents. But you know what? No doubt the students, the faculty as well, they've been working all summer to make sure that this first day of class, this whole school year goes off without a problem and everything is going as smoothly and according to plan as possible. We are going to talk to some faculty members here in the next half hour. We're going to scoot on down to the middle school campus, see what's happening there. And of course, we're going to bring you all that excitement live. And I can't wait to see what the students are wearing. You know, it's it's all about the shoes, the cool backpack, and the fashion, and we're going to see what they're sporting as they head off to class in about another hour and a half or so. It all gets real in Penfield tomorrow. Parents tonight are getting ready to send their kids back to school for in-person learning. 13 Wham's Tyler Brown says for the second year in a row, back to school is bringing some unprecedented challenges and a lot of uncertainty. Tyler? Yeah, Doug, a common theme here I heard from parents today is that this year there seems to be even more unknowns than last year, so they must prepare for anything. Football is not the only thing on the minds of the Penfield youth team. So is the first day of school. I'm feeling pretty excited, happy, get back in class. Fifth grader CJ Nicholson says he and his dad are getting similar supplies ready like most years. Got my folders ready, get some pencils, and bring a good attitude. And with the state mandating masking in all schools just five days before the start of class, extra masks are now a new must in his backpack. At the end of the day, it's better safe than sorry. Um, you, should, you should be on the more precautious side than the reactive side. Penfield father of two, Jason Duffy, says with the new Delta variant raging the nation, preparing for school this year feels different than years past. Before, you send your kids off to school that first day after the summer ends, and they're gone for the school year. Now, it's, there's just all these different unknowns related to extracurricular activities, school itself, you know, whether kids are going to be able to stay healthy, whether they're going to be bringing things home, whether they get sick or not. He is hoping precautions from the state and the district will be enough to keep schools open the rest of the year. Even with the risks involved, like sending them back to school, having them in activities, having them talking and around each other, being taught in a you know person-to-person -person environment, I think developmentally that's the best thing we could ask for. And the Nicholson family tells me another additional precaution this year is driving their kids to school themselves rather than having them take the bus. 